Hello, I'm Hune and this is another Gran Turismo 7 video. What you see here is Ferrari's F8 Tributo. This has a 3.9 litre V8 making 710 in-game horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque, pushing all that power through the rear wheels. And this is weighing in at just above 1300 kilos she is a beauty just looking at the scenery and the car itself she looks amazing and even on track she looks good ah oh, she looks damn fine mm. anyway this is one of the cars that i mentioned in the previous video to have a very snappy kind of behavior because she puts because she pushes all the power to the rear wheels she is difficult to handle so our very first track is the red bull ring now you'll notice that because she makes so much power and all that power is sent to the rear wheels I've set the traction control setting to 1 which isn't exactly the lowest the lowest is 0 which is completely off but I've set it there because you know it's it's good for myself to challenge myself and you know see how much I can control in terms of the car and its behavior so with the F8 Tributo making so much power and pushing all that power to the rear wheels the car tends to snap at you a lot I really like the interior by the way I really like it or maybe that it's just you know how the, 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 the game is set up it really enhances the way the interior looks because if you look at pictures on the internet some pictures don't do it justice but in the game it looks really well I mean good so there the car kind of you know went a little bit sideways facing the wall you don't want that to do but i guess i handled it pretty well but a lot of the time when you're taking bends like this she wants to go sideways the car wants to go sideways you know snaps and wants to pop the back out so oversteer happens a lot maybe even even in um you know traction control level two it still tends to want to snap but obviously because the power is being limited that doesn't happen as much if i'm making sense so that was a full lap that was rather quick compared to you know the previous the previous video with the toyota igo which that that was not 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 fun given that given the fact that that's a top heavy car now i'm just you know doing donuts because i actually managed to finish without spinning out so i'm just like you know what yeah and also the nice thing is that because i do do this video or i do record this video with stock um i haven't upgraded this car so most of everything is stock tires and everything so interestingly the game gives you sports tires instead of the comfort tires for this vehicle so to be honest makes no difference because in this traction control setting it will spin its tires even in level one it will spin so in level two I don't use level 2 because it cuts the power and you don't want that if you know you're trying to get as much acceleration out of the bends when when you're pushing out of a corner right entering obviously you don't want that much power but when you're pushing out then you really want that power obviously it tends to snap here and there and even at high speeds so now we're at Autodroma de Interlagos notice around the straight kind of goes sideways which is what I mean that 
I, I, I can't explain why the car snaps at you, but that's, that's how the car behaves. <laughs> that is how the car behaves. I, I, if obviously this is how it behaves in real life, I'm sure obviously, you know, take the, the, the technology on the car itself limits that kind of behavior and it doesn't encourage dangerous driving because obviously that would be dangerous on 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 you know ordinary roads this is a track so there is a lot you can do on a track however on normal city roads you can't just be drifting around right so this 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 it was at least for, for for the most part i i managed to beat all the other times i've set against so obviously the civic civic type r holds the fastest time so far as as as, as far as um lap times are concerned for those cars that i've completed lap times for so this car wasn't too bad around this track it just wasn't pleasant because even in such bends you really need to time it and and make sure that you hold you carry the right amount of speed because it has so much power and not get too carried away with you know your your throttle inputs for for acceleration so even if you, even on the straight she tends to want to pop her back out so you get the point you get the point so the fun thing about this car is like because it tends to snap at you you can throw the back out and have a bit of fun you can have a bit of fun <laughs> it looks good until yeah you, you, you know you almost hit a wall or something but obviously in a game it doesn't really matter it you can just respawn the car but drifting these cars is fun and I'm thinking of actually recording a drift episode because I am still learning how to drift I mean controlling these cars like this in a game it's not that it's not that difficult but it's properly drifting like you know if you've watched the guys from formula drift and you try to do that in, in like obviously gran turismo it is hard I've, I've done it in other games right but not to the extent where i'm drifting like the formula drift guys like ryan turk or whoever else you know it's rather difficult so here the settings it's stock so it's on sports mediums as you buy it that's the tires or that's that's exactly how it comes so now we are at goodwood i this i that 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 series of you know bends with the obstacles there is very annoying very annoying but i caught it for this lab time but obviously when I was you know, recording to try and get this recording through and done obviously messed up but I got it this time so we push on and through this bend I think that bend is always challenging because you're not too sure about the speed you should carry and then through this fast uh, bend she tends to snap and if you overcorrect then you end up or facing the wall or something which you probably don't want but i think if you it's 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 easier when you're watching it but then when you're doing it it's it's a lot more difficult and a, it, it, it's it's a whole different ball game it's it's really challenging specifically with a car like this that obviously the power is sent to the rear wheels and it tends to oversteer and if you use traction control to limit the power it really cuts down on your acceleration so here I do go off the track a bit but we'll forget that that happened I mean it happens so <coughs> not too bad of a lap time so 
I just decided, you know what, you know what, I'm just gonna go gallivanting and I'm done with the lab time and I'm just gonna have a little, f a little bit of fun with the car because, I mean, why not? Why shouldn't I? And for the most part, obviously, I just want to drift. I just wanted to drift. So, not too bad. Not too bad. She, 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 she doesn't handle obviously like a drift car. She's more of a, I can't even say a track car. Apparently, this is supposed to be Ferrari's last V8. I mean, I, I, me personally, I, I don't care anymore. You know, the V10, the V12s, the V10s. Those cars can go. Obviously, you know, cars like the LFA are going to be remembered for the way they sounded, right? Which obviously is an iconic car as it is the Lexus. So I, I, I'm I all for electric cars. I'm not saying that the combustion engine is sucks or is anything bad. No, I'm just saying that for the sake of the planet electric is the way but obviously I would at some point love to hear a screaming engine behind me because this is a mid-engine supercar or sports car depends how you, but it is a supercar but regardless so I found this little patch in the game in, in this on this track and I decided to go drift and not too bad the Honda Civic Type R is no longer the faster car which is obviously expected so now we're at Dragon Trail International uh, Raceway and this is where she really got to stretch her legs and really put down all that power even though it is super super sketchy but it's not the hardest car to control but i think i did i did okay i did okay i did okay i do believe that maybe with better tires i could get better lap times with with literally just that I don't think I need to add downforce or anything like that just better tires um, she brakes well I think yeah she does the FA Tributor brakes pretty well so can't really complain in that department through these bends I, I struggled that I had to do this 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 several times excuse me so I eventually got it and she is flying and with this bend I really had to be careful not to you know put all that power down because I will either spin out or start facing the wall like that I hit the brakes and <clears throat> that did not happen that that yeah it did not happen and i think with this track i got frustrated because the car tends to oversteer a lot that i simply just told myself you know what if i get the lap done i get the lap done however i get it done it's it's yeah that's that's that i'm not i'm not i'm not gonna try fight it because this this car makes way too much power for those for those tires the grip just the grip is not there it is not there especially through the pins so that is that is dragon tip dragon trail so thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for a, another video which i am really excited about this one is rather different but fun so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a like and 
subscribe turn post not notifications on as well so that you're notified whenever i make an upload thank you guys for watching